What the heck is it? Well, some of you may have experience with it, and some of you may not. Google Classroom is a way for communities of learners to learn not only in their classroom, but outside the classroom. It's also a place for you to keep track of material that a teacher has given you. It's also a place for you to keep track of your own work. Because not only do you have access to Google Classroom, you just also were created, or what was created for you was a Google Drive account, which is a way for you to store things online in a cloud for the most part. This is really a very powerful tool. And the other day, I was standing in line to get in a wagon ride to celebrate Christmas on the canal, and I was doing work on my phone. It was pretty cool because I had access to all my stuff right on my phone. So you eventually can get to that particular point. You love your phones, so make your phone work for you. You can get the app, as we mentioned, for Google Classroom and Google Docs, as well as other things. But right now, we're dealing with the classroom. So in here, uh, and for the next few days, we're going to be taking a look at this character known as Shi Yuan Di. And we did it um, the other day, starting with paper. But today, we're going to take a look at him via some um, online documents, so that you can see some of these documents in color. Since they're all artifacts, it's easier to do it that particular way. The other component that we're going to take a look at is you're going to get a chance to respond to a question. The question that you're going to respond to today is, why did Shi Wan Di standardize Chinese society? Now, if you click on the stream, is everybody on the stream um, option or screen? Mm -hmm. You should see these two questions that are there. You see a question, and you see that 19 aren't done. This means that there's been 19 students that have signed into the class, and none of you have completed the assignment yet, which you shouldn't have yet, because we haven't gotten into it. Okay? You also will see resources that you can use to help with the question. So what I'd like you to do right now is to click on the one that says Shimon D SQ2. What that will do is open up a Google Doc. So everybody click on the one that says Shimon D SQ2. Give me a thumbs up when that has occurred. Now this is not the same paper that we used yesterday. This is a different one, just a similar format. At the top, give you a little bit of a background. Last class, we established some context on how the first emperor of China, Xi Wan Di, unified China. Today, we explore how Xi Wan Di used the skills and technology of the Chinese to unify or standardize Chinese society. Remember, as you explore these artifacts, the purpose of this inquiry is for you to decide, did Emperor Xi Wan Di improve China. Remember, on Friday, we're going to have a debate about if this guy actually was a good for China. Did he improve China? You're going to do that debate based upon the work that you are doing over the past few class periods, as well as the things that you are saving on your Google Classroom. So you'll have access to information to help form your debate later on. So you'll notice underneath, Cornell setup. Right now, take about three minutes. That's probably too much time for you because you're fast. Set up a new Cornell note page. Left side, topic, inquiry, she one to standardized society, the source, New York State Toolkit. And then these two focus questions should be written in your right column, right at the top. These documents that were shared to you are ones that I created, but they're yours. So you can't edit them, you're not going to mess anything up with it if you accidentally touch something. It's sent, it's your own personal one, which is kind of cool. So uh, you don't have to worry about that. The hard part though is that if you do use your phone, when it opens up a Google Doc, sometimes on the phone it moves things around a little bit. So in the future what I'm going to do is probably make a PDF for students, because that way that will lock the image a little bit better. Um, but for right now I just want to give you a heads up, if you do use your phone, some of the images may move. Everything's still there, it's just in a different spot. But primarily what you have with this sheet is the directions for what we're gonna be doing the whole class. So once I'm done talking, you can just keep going. And if you get done faster than someone else, that's awesome. You have next step that you can uh, work with and just keep on going. So that's really the two questions we're looking at today. 
the how did Xi Wanyi's reform standardize Chinese society is going to go in your Cornell notes. The second question you could also write in your Cornell notes, but you're also going to answer it in the Google Classroom. That's going to go back to the classroom option here. If you flip back to your classroom option real quick, remember all the tabs, just keep all the tabs open. Your should say down below your response or something like that. Is that what it says? Yeah, your answer. Your answer. So when you're ready, that's where you're going to click to type in your answer to this comment. Now the cool part about it is that I've made it so that every single one of you can see everybody's responses. Not at the same time, but only when you are done and they are done. You can also comment on each other's responses as well. You don't have to, but I just left that open for us to play with over the next couple days just to see what it's like. Now, obviously, ridiculous comments aren't going to last. So the comments of like, hey, that's an interesting idea, but what about? Oh, I never thought about that. Those are the types of things that Google Classroom is going to be great for. It's to extend your connections beyond the actual physical four walls that you're in right now. Because learning just doesn't stop in this room. You get ideas later on. Google Classroom allows you to go back and track those ideas and record those ideas. And the cool part is I can see who's clicked on it because your little letters come up. Pretty neat. Now in theory, if I share this in a way that would allow you to all edit, you could all be a part of this living document. And any time one student made a comment, their name would, or the, the section would light up in their color with their name so you know who made the comment and the connection. It's pretty amazing. So there are some times I would like to have us do that, where you create kind of a living document together with this idea. You can see everybody has logged in and is now, or has at least opened up that particular page.